being aware of middle grade during look development can do wonders. I'll tell you why in a moment, but first let's focus on how we can keep middle gray anchored when working with custom curves in DaVinci Resolve. Unfortunately, there's no easy way of just inputting a numerical value into custom curves. So as such, we have to get a middle gray image into our pipeline. I have two ways for you on how to do this. First, the built-in way, we can use the HDR palette. Just set your contrast to zero, which is already pivoted to middle gray, and then set global saturation to zero. But this does only work if you have your color management settings set up correctly, mainly the timeline color space in your project settings. Now, the second method is by using my free exposure chart digital available on Pixel Tools. So keep in mind, digitals are only supported in the studio version of Resolve. Now, just select this digital and select your working color space, and it will not only have the middle gray as the background, but it will also show the numerical value if you want to use it in the primaries panel contrast where you would put it into the pivot point. So now that we have middle gray in our pipeline, we can add a serial node, select custom curves, choose the qualifier, and click. There we have it. Now we have the middle gray pivoted in our custom curves. But now the question is, why bother with all of this? It's because middle gray is a reference point we can work with. In most imaging systems today, middle gray is the perceptual middle point in terms of lightness. So for example, well-lit lighter skin tones tend to sit around middle gray. If we look at this image through the Pixel Tools checkered digital, also available for free, we can turn on false color and see that the green areas on the shadow side, those are middle gray. Areas that are highlighted in warm colors are above middle gray and those that are in cool colors are underneath middle gray. So the lighter side of the face is sitting slightly above middle gray and the shadow side has a bit that's exactly on middle gray. But what if I accidentally shift middle gray during look development? Well, you'll see an exposure change. Everything will either be too bright or too dark compared to the original image that was seen on set. And it'll just make your life harder as a colorist when correcting the shots. Or if you use this LUT on set that has its middle gray shifted, well, the shots will just come out either overexposed or underexposed, which could lead to clipping problems or noise. Well, that's it from me. I'm Gaur. See you next time.